Good evening, everyone. This is uh, Whiskey Wednesday Weekly, and this is episode three of season one. Uh, this week, I have my guest is Tammy Stryler. Obviously, you may have met her husband last week, uh, Alex Stryler. We're back in the wine cellar, which is one of my favorite places. So I wish I could do these episodes every week. Uh, Tammy actually has a podcast that she shoots down here, and we'll get into that a little bit later. She'll give you a little bit of depth about that. Um, but first of all, we just want to say thank you for tuning in again. Um, you know, I never really talked about the platform that I wanted to do this for, Tammy. I've never, in the two episodes I've done, I've never really told people why. It's really because ultimately I want to get to know not just people that I know, but I also want to understand what, like some like your kids. Let's say for instance, you have third generation grandkids, YouTube, everything stays up unless you take it down. So years of pictures and all that stuff, that stuff kind of goes away sometimes, you know, hard pictures and stuff. But this is something that your great grandkids could look back and say, I didn't even know my great grandmother. I love that. To me, that yes. is such a cool thing. It's almost like a locker of memories that you'll be able to, you know, someone will be able to show of you and why you were a teacher and why those things. And everybody has a story. Right. And that's, that's the I mean. thing. Everybody has a story when yes. you meet somebody. Right. That's what. You know, I'm glad really... you said that because yes. ultimately I told my wife that when you see someone like an older person in their 80, you don't really think that they were right. young ones. Yeah. You know, but your mom, she's had such great experience in life and what's she, 75? Yep. So it's like 76. amazing. Yeah, 76. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but I mean, but yeah. you, if you just walk around and see her in a store, you wouldn't yeah, think you would, she was yeah. ever, you know, just because they're retired. They don't have this amazing aura when they're 30, you know, when she was 30. Like my mom, you know, it's like you don't get to learn all that. So I just want to make sure people understand that that's what this is about. It's we want to get to know you. We want to know your story and obviously what you can help teach other people. Um, so being said, though, we're going to actually start with a little bit of a shot early just because Tammy wants to warm up with some whiskey. She's not a huge whiskey person. She drinks it, but she's more of a wine I just got to say one thing because yes. Ken has started a couple of the episodes saying <laughs> Wine Wednesday. Well, I am honored to say I'm one of the Wine Wednesday girls, right. which is why right. yes. he yes. says that, that right. with his wife. Yeah. I'm one of the Wine Wednesday girls. Yeah. So, so whiskey gonna... is not my thing, but, but you get drink it I'm willing to learn. So, <laughs> and also willing yes. to get a buzz. <laughs> correct. So the first up, uh, first shot we're going to do is screwball. which obviously has been on here every time because it seems to be one of the favorites, whether it's an opener or a closer for me okay. and Alex. And we'll go ahead and do a shot is of this that. The pe this, this is, is the peanut butter. Yes, and yes. I've had this one before right. um, at another occasion. So, yes, right. I it's do just like a this good one. one to start out with. It's a great yes. one to yes. start with. See, mine is not quite as high as <laughs> It still burns. It's so good, but it just has that little... Drink it! This isn't sipping Whiskey Wednesday. <laughs> Damn. All right. Okay. So we're also we go. we're also starting with our chaser tonight, which will actually be a Moscow. Oh, sorry, not a Moscow because that's a vodka. It's a Southern Mule, I which is it. Jack Daniels and ginger beer with a wedge of lime. So in case you guys are wondering, I love that that's the tonight, chaser. Right. I mean, that I mean, could be like the whole thing. Right, okay, right. Good. Most that's people are like, fine. Just keep yeah. going with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just get a little bit of understanding on who Tammy is. Uh, we'll just get a brief summary of not her childhood, but really what you know who you are, where you were born, you know, that kind of thing. And then we'll get in a little, a little bit more about it. So just tell us a little bit about yourself from when you were younger. Where were you, where are you from and that kind of thing? I am a California oh. girl, okay. native, um, born in Pomona, California, the great city of Pomona. <laughs> Who would have known? And I ended up going to college at Cal Poly Pomona. Right, right. So you somehow I came back week. to my <laughs> roots. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and we lived in that area till I was about five and then we moved to Orange County, mm -hmm. um, to Irvine when Irvine was the Irvine ranch, like literally the ranch. My dad opened up the first high school there, university high school. And, um, that was literally Irvine was orange groves and strawberry fields. Really? Oh yeah. I didn't know that. I there thought was it was always no, wealth and no, fame. Oh, okay. no, it was the Irvine ranch was. <laughs> So when we moved to Orange County, it was like Valley Center. We live in a kind of a rural place right now. Right, right. People don't know, but yes, we're in a rural place. It was like that. Huh. And I actually um, would be in the orange groves and we had, you know, dirt right. bike tracks and this was all in Irvine. So it, it's funny now, if you know what Irvine is, it is not so that. Not that. <laughs> it is so not that. But that's where I grew up. Oh, okay. And, um, and then obviously it progressed over the years right. and... Um, 
Now, was and, your father in the military at all? No. Okay. No. Okay. Teacher. Oh, and, teacher. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. So he opened up, like I said, the first high school in Irvine. He opened it up. Opened it up. Wow. University High School. And then when Irvine High School opened up, he opened up that one. Okay. And yeah, so that's kind of wow. where we got our roots in okay. Irvine. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I went to Cal Poly Pomona for um, college, got my degree okay. in elementary education. Uh-huh. And um Elementary, yep. that's where you started. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And that's where I met Alex, which is a great story. We can get into that later, but um met him there okay. and um that was yeah. it. Okay. Now it's in a nutshell. Well, um now that you mentioned that, since your husband was on here last week, we mm-hmm. will go ahead since he told us that he went to member Cal Cal Poly Pomona and he was kinda of using that college as like mm-hmm. everyone on the East Coast thought it was like Caltech. Oh yeah, right. Because um, it's called Paul uh California State Polytechnic. Right, right. So you get that tech thing in there right. it's like oh caltech's like you know you don't want to like right okay. you just yeah, let them go with the flow let whatever they think you're not going to correct right. them it's yeah. like that's like saying i'm with the harvard <laughs> yeah that did not so happen yeah. um but anyway so no let's let's actually get into that i'd like to hear about the story because ultimately that's kind of how this all spun off is having you here um we want to really get into more about you yeah. um but i would like to know how you guys met because honestly as long as we've known each other i don't even think i know the story well okay so as I said, I was an elementary ed major. Well, you can imagine there aren't a ton of men okay. that go into elementary ed. There are some, and they're right. amazing teachers, um, mm-hmm. but just not a lot go into elementary ed. So not to, a lot to choose from is what you're saying in your correct, classes. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. So I decided I was going to get a minor in marketing. Oh Why? Oh my god, that's awesome. I don't know. <laughs> right. I think it was to be men. Fate, I don't know. Actually, frankly, because <laughs> I mean, that's what Alex minored in as well, so that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I minored in marketing, Okay. and um, I met Alex in a marketing class. It was, huh. a, a, it was a small business marketing class, and we were put into groups. It was, this whole thing was, this class was about groups and doing a project, okay. and I got put in a group, but the teacher was very much like, okay, you need to have different levels of people in these groups. Like someone who's a marketing major along with people like me who is an elementary ed major who has no business being in a marketing class. So they gotcha. they spread us out basically. Uh-huh. So we weren't like all. Right, all with each group. Yeah, yeah so yeah. there's kind of a right. Well, my group, um, the our main guy or whatever, our expert guy, um, whatever, dropped the class. And so they had to disperse us. Well, in the meantime, wow. Alex, I had seen him in the class, and we, I don't know, maybe a week prior, we were coming out of class, and he said, hi, Tammy, like he knew my name. And I was like, I mean, who's the stalker? You know, like, who is this guy who knows my name? So when we had to, so when our group got dispersed and we had to get into a new group, the instructor let us kind of pick what group we wanted to go right, into, right. and I knew what group this you guy were. was oh, in, the okay. one that called okay. me by name. Right. And so I picked Alex's group oh. to be in his group. And so, and because the whole, I mean, literally the whole class was like meeting with your group, like outside of class. Oh. We spent a lot of time outside mm. of class, you know, yeah. meeting and um, I guess the rest, the rest is, is kind of history. Kind of history. Wow, yeah. that's so, awesome. Yeah. That, now, did you guys get married before you went back east or was it in California? Well, so, okay, so we graduated in 89 and mm-hmm. then we both worked for a year. And then, because uh, to get your teaching credential, you need like a fifth year. Correct. And I was like, I don't know. I got this minor in marketing, and I'm just going to do my thing, you know? And then I did my thing, and I was like, well, this, this sucks. Like, I want to be a teacher. Right, I want so, to So, yeah, so then we went back, and I got my teacher credential while Alex was getting his master's. Correct. And so, um, so basically, then I started teaching, and he got his master's, and then he was talking about going to New York. Right. And I basically said, this was like in a car... And we're driving, and he, and he was talking about, well, do you want to go to New York? And I'm like, well, I'm not going to New York unless we're married. Oh, and I he didn't goes, know that part. So do you want to get married? And I'm like, okay, so. <laughs> do you love me? He goes, okay. And then I'm like, so are we engaged? <laughs> and he's like, I guess so. That is so And Alex. that was so, that, that was so it. Alex, like, that was right, how right, you right, proposed. Right. There was no, <laughs> like, bait. it just happened in a car, and I'm just like, I'm not going to New York unless we're married. You know, right, basically. Yeah. So that was the That's big proposal. Story, so we get yeah. home and I'm like, I'm engaged. And everybody's like, well, how do you do? Like, you know what I'm like? We were just chilling. Wah, wah, wah. You know, it's like we were in a car. Yeah. And, yeah so it was kind and of And he funny. just said, it, yeah, do you, so yeah. you want to get married? That's awesome. Oh, all right. Sure. 
you know, so yeah. Well, before we get on to the next part of your life, because actually from there, I mean, it's really about you. Um, I just wanted to kind of get that out. And actually, I never knew that story, so that's kind of cute. Uh, we'll do our second shot. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, we're going to get... We're Damn, gonna get we're just rolling with these shots. Okay, here we go. So our okay. second shot is the traditional Jim Beam oh, Kentucky gosh. straight bourbon. Uh, everyone probably knows Jim Beam. It's super great, and you cannot sip it. Do not sip it. Take a shot, knock it out. It's a lot better. It's that hard. Way. It, okay. You have a chaser. <laughs> yeah, a bourbon chaser. I'm like. We're chasing with whiskey. That's oh my god. Doing. Okay. Have you ever seen a 110 pound girl get oh drunk in 30 minutes? <laughs> You're about to. Actually, okay, here we go. All right. Okay. So that's so now the next part is really where I want to focus on you because this is when story uh, Alex's story got really interesting. Yes. The stock market and so I want you know separate the stigmatisms of husband wife and whose roles you were working correct. So Alex got a job and you found a job immediately or how did that work out? Well, okay. So yeah, I worked a year um, in California teaching. Right. Um, but I mean, when you went back to New York. Yeah. yeah. So then. We moved to New York, so I obviously quit my job. Right. Take a California girl, born and raised, pluck her out, and put her into Manhattan. 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 Not like the suburbs. Straight up, no, straight right up into Manhattan. the Wall Street. Club. And I was scared shitless. I, can I was scared How shitless. Old were you at the time I was you? probably 25. Wow. Ish. Yeah. Right? And um, But I was super um, adventurous and. and was excited, kind you know, like to you be there. you guys are today. You're very yeah. outgoing and, you know, friendly yep. and stuff. So, yeah, it was nerve-wracking, but yep. at the same time, you learned how to yep. adapt. So, I, you know, originally we moved, I think we moved there, like, in August or something. So, I wasn't going to be able to get, like, a teaching job, per se. So, I was, um, I got into a loop where I was subbing in private schools around Manhattan, and which was really cool because I got to learn the subways and the bus system. Because we going to sold different schools. everything when we moved there. Like, every, you know, cars, everything. Wow. Like we just, went, yeah, you didn't yeah, we like, didn't need it. Yeah, we didn't right, need it in Manhattan. Right. So I was subbing and, you know, kind of just learning the system. And, um, and I met, um, there was a friend of a friend that worked for, um, at the time, Time Warner. Mm -hmm. And the Time and Life building is directly across from the Rockefeller Center and um, the, what are the Rockettes? The, can't think of what I'm trying to say, but I'll know. think about it later. But right there. And right. Um, they were opening a um, state-of-the-art, you know, daycare center for the employees of Time Warner. Right. And, you know, like they the have, first oh, of its kind, think about yeah, it. Yeah, it was that's... a drop-in daycare. So yes. it would be like if, you know, you're, you have a nanny and the nanny is sick and you, you've got to go to work. So it was like emergency backup child care is what it was called. So we took everything from six months to 12 years old. And um, I started working there. I was like subbing in there and then eventually it became full time. Mm. And, but I, it was cool because I was an employee of Time Warner. Correct. Not like a daycare. Right. Which daycare, you don't, I don't know. One, you don't make very much. You're going to make a lot limited. more for Time Warner. Yes. That's for sure. And yeah. then Time Warner at the time, so this is like the early 90s. Right. Um, so that, everything was booming. You know, things were oh booming gosh, out yes. there, you know. And they had a, a policy that if you took a class, like a, some sort of college class or whatever, that was related to your job, they would pay 100% tuition. Mm. So I was like, hmm. I see an opportunity here. So I went to Fordham University and got my master's degree. You got on, your master's on mm -hmm, Time Warner's on Dime? On Time Warner's Dime. Wow, Didn't impressive. pay a penny. Wow. And it was right there in Manhattan. I went yes. to the um, Lincoln Center um, campus. Mm -hmm. and How uh, long did that take? Just curious. Two years. Oh, okay. Part um, at night because I was working during the day. And right. then, um, and Alex, I mean, this whole thing, how did that work as a yeah, it was, I mean, it was good because um, we didn't have kids at the time mm -hmm. and he was working long hours. Sure, was he was say, doing a lot point, with Wall right? Street and mm -hmm. doing everything. So it kind of gave me like my identity to kind of do that and, and get that. Um, I don't know that I would have done it otherwise. Right. Um, because it does cost a lot, and I hear a lot of teachers oh, that especially in New York. Could you imagine? Yeah, I mean, even if it was a like small, like not a big university, it's still New York. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So I just saw the opportunity. I'm like, I'm. Why not? Why would I not? That's amazing. I mean, at that point, yeah. so yeah. 
that was really cool. So that I got to do that, good, yeah. and that was all before kids. Mm-hmm. So, and I Manhattan, I love, love, love New York. <laughs> I mean, I, seriously, I would. Like, I yeah. love going right, back, right. And taking my kids a few times, and I can imagine how long did you guys live there total, roughly? In the between, abs- between no, I mean between working there and F- Pennsylvania, just do that whole total. We yeah. were on the East Coast for about six years. Okay. So three years in living in Manhattan, and then three years commuting, commuting Manhattan. into Manhattan gotcha. from like a suburb. We bought okay. you know a condo and a house and things like that. Mm-hmm. So. So and that's why I have two kids there. Let's go back. That's a great story. But I want to know what, other than what you had mentioned earlier, your father being, sounds like he was a teacher. Um, was your mother a teacher? Yeah. Okay. I'm a third generation teacher. Okay. So that really yeah. answers the quick question of yes. why you want to teach them. Yep. I was going to ask why you had a passion. Was it's it in my, you... I'm telling you, it's in my DNA. When my mom, I um, interviewed my mom on my podcast, which we'll talk about later, but we have 13 family members, like close family members that are all teachers, you know, um, and I swear it's DNA. It's just something that really... <laughs> yeah, it's in our blood, Once it starts, you know? it just kind yeah, of spawns. Is yeah. that because it's all you kind of, I mean, not that you know, but let's say when you're growing up and going to school, what what is it that you can, I guess, portray to people out there that are pursuing it? Uh, like, I know there's a, a young kid that's graduated with our sons that wants to be a teacher. What is it that you think he or someone who wants to be a teacher would actually be able to benefit in today's world? I mean, what do you think that teaching does for kids? I think because that, when I was growing up, teaching was kind of like, God, they don't make much money. But I know out here it's different. You don't do it for the money. Okay. I will tell you that right now. You don't do it for the money. And it, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's a passion. Mm-hmm. And um, it's it's something, if, if you have it, you have it and you do it. For the for the kids and for the right I don't know just that's just where you are right. in your heart and your soul okay. and I worked a year like when I I thought e- teaching was easy in a way because I knew that I wanted to do that my whole life and then I thought it's kind of what you thought like oh maybe I'm just doing it because my parents are teachers and that's when I worked the year I got my marketing minor and I worked a year outside of teaching and I hated it huh I so you hated actually tried it. And so then, knowing yes. that that wasn't and your then passion. when i went back into teaching i was like this is where i belong this which is, is where... why you bring up the dna yes because it's you're just... saying like it's not like it's not just because it's a pattern it's because like it's something ingrained in you that, yes yeah, because honestly as your parents come to come home from work they might be doing some tea but it's not like they're sitting there beating you over the no, head with teaching they, nobody it's yeah. just literally in your blood and i would tell people that you can't um if you think it's a nine to five job it's not and it's it's <laughs> constant it okay oh okay. it's uh, it's 24 7 because you yeah. worry about your kids and this and that and, and people say oh you get the summers off yeah because it's you need stressful the summers i mean it's it's a right. good it you need the disconnect Correct. And it's it's a, the most intense thing you can do, but it's the most rewarding, rewarding. and I highly recommend it, but you've got to get into it for the right reasons. Gotcha. Don't think you want to get into it because you get summers off or that you get two that weeks off sense, at Christmas actually. That makes or sense because whatever. Because a lot of people do find oh, jobs yeah. that are like, hey, it's just because it's... But you're right. That's no, not how you, you roll with teaching, I'm sure. But what's amazing is that you were talking about the passion and the, and the, and the, the maturity. and it, 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 To me, I just feel like I... I do teach in a coaching sense, but I it would drive me crazy. Like it takes a special person. I almost feel like you guys should be lumped in with firemen, policemen. Honestly, I'll tell you what. We're getting a little appreciation during this COVID time when people right. had the home school, school. <laughs> and everybody like I've we love you. Interviews. We're like yes, we finally are getting right, appreciated because the parents because, are going. This yes, is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> like take what is this? Like hurry up already, teachers. Let's get back to school. This is a, a yes, necessary exactly. thing to get my yes. sanity back. Well, that's yes. actually a good point it because is, yeah. I feel like you guys should be lumped in with that yes, because a lot you. of times people don't give that appreciation, which is kind of cool that you're doing the podcast. Which I know you're trying to teach people about teachers, but at the same time, it's spreading, you know, that message about education. Well, and, and my big thing, might as well just go in there right now, you know, the <laughs> podcast, is, it's, uh, so, can I just go? Oh, go it? for it, yeah, yeah. So, my podcast is called Pour Your Ed Out, and uh-huh. uh, every uh, episode is right here in this wine cellar, and we crack open a bottle of wine, and we talk, because um, teachers drink wine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for Are you obvious saying, reasons, are you we drink saying? wine. But we, I've had some great conversations over the years, you know, with teachers, you know, with some wine and get stories going. But the big thing is, is that I want to, I want teachers to be recognized for what 
they do and what we do every day right. and we're focusing on positive things and how we can learn from each other and advice to new teachers and it's not a, a show that we're whining and complaining Correct. because there's just so much of it i'm so ah you know it yeah. just goes crazy. it's actually probably amazing yeah. to get that out it's like an yes. outlet for the teachers yes and whether it's talking about the education and how you they each do it because you guys are all different you're elementary someone's high school someone's kindergarten someone's junior high which yes. of course all those elements of kids yes. are super different exactly and not to mention the fact that you guys are like i need someone to bounce something off of yep. and be honest teaching in the 90s at time warner is probably so much different yes, than teaching very now different. because yes. now you don't even have like a classroom job you have yep. like electronic yeah, well, well we were thrown into right. distance learning that we weren't trained for Correct. you know i mean we we jumped into this and teachers did amazing things even without any warning or training, I mean, Think about it's it. yeah. crazy, right. you know, it's because, crazy. Because, I mean, Valley Center, we, where yeah. we all live, our kids are seniors, all our kids are yep. seniors, and here they are in March, their biggest year of their life, I know. and they're like, and they're just, the kids yep. are like, uh, I mean, the teachers are like, what am I supposed to do? I know, seriously. They're like, I'll send we, you a memo or something. Yeah, you know? I mean, we like, were all scrambling, and yeah. it's amazing how teachers rallied, and, the, and just mm -hmm. everybody rallied, mm -hmm. and made the best of what we could do in this short amount of time without right. any kind of training whatsoever in this type of format. You know, and that's where people have to give a little bit of grace because we didn't, we wouldn't sign up for that either. No one you know did. what I mean? Nobody yeah. signed up yeah. for it, you know, and we're, we're scrambling, but we did it. And, and what's interesting and, is you guys kind of actually found a way, I feel like, to move, I mean, for next year, because we don't know when schools yeah. are going to really all yeah. open. So let's take a second. You want to drink that? Oh, gosh. So we need primer, a little... we're yeah. doing a mm -hmm. shot real oh, quick. Okay, what are we doing? Jack Daniels. Oh, Jesus. Our favorite. You guys. <laughs> Good stuff. Good so not only do I not take shots, I don't drink whiskey, and here we are. About three. That's this a big is, one. I made that your biggest. I don't know why. <laughs> I like Jack Daniels, I guess. I can't do that, like the whole thing. <laughs> you can't? You only made me laugh. It didn't burn. It was just, you made me laugh. <sighs> Jesus. Twice, maybe? Three times a lady? Oh my so God, obviously, this is... this is why teachers drink <laughs> wine. Because this is why shots. we drink wine. Yes. <laughs> I'm wine here on her. There you go. Okay, now you really are going to get the loose lip Tammy. <laughs> Okay, but oh no, my God. that okay. was an amazing Woo. break, honestly. And not just because of the podcast, but really getting the educational sense. I didn't right. realize that, you know, I mean, I know, that, believe me, I talk to my wife all the time about how teachers, you know, it, it is a t difficult job, and it I is. certainly wouldn't want to do it. And she even homeschooled for a couple of years with her daughter, right. and she would probably do it still today um, with our boys if she could. But ultimately, what I want to talk about now is so let's talk a little bit back in New York and, and your lifestyle, because Alex hit on last week right. last week about how the money was flowing, the times were good. He hustled, believe me. I yeah. mean, we don't want to yeah. take anything away from Alex because that's what I stressed last week, that he was a different breed. I'm in sales. You know, there's certain people that just look outside the box. He was looking for things that were different. And tell us a little bit about what how you guys handled that success. He's working. He's stressed out. How did you handle or enjoy the success? And where did you guys live? Just take us a little bit about that. And, uh, you know. Yeah, it was crazy because. Um, you talked about six years. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like I said, I grew up with, you know, two teachers, uh -huh. you know, as parents. So not that we were ever deprived or anything like that. But, you know, we didn't have. There's certainly a difference a lot between 800,000 on Wall Street exactly. versus, yeah, 100,000. So I wasn't teachers. used to anything kind of. I don't know, extravagant, I guess. <laughs> um, so, and again, putting it back in perspective, the early 90s on Wall Street was booming. Oh. You know, it was a booming time. This was before all the craziness, you know, yes, happened with the, the closures yeah. and mm -hmm. the, the all this stuff. So we basically, um, the expense accounts were flowing. Mm. Um, my biggest regret is that I didn't, drink wine at the time. <laughs> I think you told me last we, week yes, you just drank Because we would go to every like amazing top-end restaurant in New York, and I, I'm not kidding you, I'd order like 
a Bud Light. Can I get like a Miller Light? <laughs> I mean, I'm not even kidding. I didn't even know what to order. I was just like, I was coming out of college. I'm like, I don't, I don't even beer. know what to order. Yeah, to beer right, right. or like, and then I don't even like a fruity cocktail <laughs> if I could even manage that. I, did, I didn't even know what to order. Yeah. I was like, dang it. I could have some like, good wine. I could have a 200 and, bottle yeah. of wine. Yeah. And um, what was great was the Alex's customers, all legit. You know, everything was legit. He, you know, these were his, his customers, but his customers became our friends. And so we did everything. We saw every Broadway show. We saw, you know, we went to every restaurant. We, I mean, it was fun. Mm -hmm. We had fun. Mm -hmm. We didn't have kids at the time. So we just, we made you the just, most of it. Yeah, I mean, you and should. That's, that, now, that's the lesson there yep. is don't let, I mean, like, you're working long hours. But back yep. then, you're out till 11, 12, 1. And yep. you're 24, 25, yeah, 26. Yeah, we're young. So and you really need to take advantage of yep. that and actually understand that, Life is short, yep. even though, you know, you're 26 and then you're whatever now, you know, we're talking about life just changes, right? They do. You have kids yep. Yep. and it's not, we don't, uh, I love my three kids. I know you love your four kids, but what we're saying is then you go into a different You just go phase. different mode. Yeah. As so soon you as really want to yes. make sure that you're encapsulating yep. everything you can. Yep. So whether it's partying at the top of whatever you can and realizing your, your accomplishments, you really want to make sure that you're making the most of well, your and moment. Well, we kind of knew that eventually we would move probably back to California. So mm. that also gave us an extra incentive to like, we did the whole <laughs> East Coast. We did every touristy thing you could do in, in Manhattan. We did, you know, the Statue of Liberty, Liberty Island, you know, or um, Ellis just... Island, um, the World Trade Center, you know, wow. all of that. We did, e you know, everything. And there are people that had lived in New York for forever. And they're like, oh, we've never done this. Yeah. We've done that, you know. But we you did knew that everything. you weren't going to be there forever. Yeah, so, you're so like, we, we were have like, got to go. Yes, yeah. we you did New York. <laughs> That's we awesome. We did New York. So, so there fun. was a part in, in his story how he said, like, a friend drove up and asked what house was his. Oh, yeah. And Alex said, the, it's ours, all ours. So tell that's Pennsylvania, correct? Yeah, so, yeah. So Alex, okay, his dad was in the military. Mm -hmm. He touched on yes. that. And he um, went to high school in Yardley, Pennsylvania. So he still had friends in that area. Mm -hmm. So when we bought, we bought a, our first condo in Yardley mm -hmm. where he had lots of friends from high school and it was right across the river from Trenton, New Jersey. So you have the Delaware River and then we would drive over to Trenton each morning and then take the train into Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit longer of a commute than some people did, but because he had the connections right. and the friends and stuff. So we bought a little condo. Um, really cute, whatever. And then a couple years later, we sold that and we bought this huge house. And then we bought the model home. Oh, so really? Oh, I see. Everything, I mean, everything was, in, yeah. was dialed in. Yeah. Like every upgrade, every yeah. Yeah. window treatment, every built in cabinet, every upgrade right. on the everything, like counters, everything. It was turnkey. Right. It was, and it had like a, it was in a three or four car garage in the front, and it was huge. It was huge. And then back then, they have basements that are yes on the East Coast, basements. just as yeah. huge. I yeah. mean, so the cool. whole underground the is whole almost like a whole underground. Like, and we they would, didn't count that as we had like footage, hockey I don't games think. down in our basement, <laughs> like we we're rollerblading. Right. You know? So yeah, so one of the, the New York guys that was from um, I think Queens or the Bronx or I don't know one of those, yeah. and they you know those little houses are like doo, 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 yeah. you know, super, and so he came to ours and he's like, well, which one just kids? The way it looked like with the Correct. garages, it that like, it looked little, like they were There was like two garages separate, with yes. a house, and you're like, Yeah, oh, and we're like, no, man. this whole thing is ours. And that was my favorite house. <laughs> that though. was like a moment. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, yeah. I know. I wish. I know. We still, when we go back to visit, we still have friends there, and we go, I've taken the kids back so they could see, yeah. you know, oh, where they, they live. Oh, they to see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And they're like, what? <laughs> what? Why are we? We have a nice I'm house like, here, but wait, what? we got this wine cellar here that we didn't have there. But, it only um, took ten it years amazing. to build this. But like, gee, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> but I loved Pennsylvania on the Delaware River, and mm -hmm. it was beautiful. That's awesome. absolutely beautiful. Well, I, I do want to get into that more or less. Um, I guess a learning point because then you guys go from the high to the low. But even though it's only felt like a couple minutes, we kind of were behind on the last <laughs> shot. So, we do have to speed this up a little bit. Okay, all right, all right. Now, listen. Damn. This is a, okay. a whiskey that I found in a local market here in Valley Center. Okay. So, I don't know who makes it. It is inexpensive. It's oh, called God. Henderson. And I don't know if Susan Henderson's I know, family. Right, Susan? <laughs> Calling you out. <laughs> Maybe she's. Maybe. 
Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we'll try it out. Oh, God. It, 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 it's going to taste great. <laughs> Okay. I'm doing better with these than well, I was with Alex. Well, this one's actually kind of, this one is. Good. You it's like almost it. more mellow. Oh, probably good. because it's cheap. You know, because it's not like super strong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. You, I, I shouldn't say super cheap. You just said it wasn't yes, as expensive. Yes, it wasn't. As no, it was. Expensive. It's affordable. So, so Henderson, right. I do, I like it. It's good. It actually, yeah, you gave it props early on. So, good job. <sighs> High five for that. Because you've been hanging okay, in there. Okay, here we go. Okay. So what I'd like to do is now I'd like to kind of figure out like your mindset because Alex had mentioned, I mean, I, there's a lot of things to learn with you too. I mean, my wife and I, who's actually watching um, on the background, um, <laughs> we have learned a lot from you guys. And that's kind of why we grow to love you guys so much is because you guys, I mean, we've had, a, you know, you know, my background a little bit with my mom and, and everything and then Mila's and it's just yeah. like. There's just so many lessons that we can all learn. But let's talk about the high. I mean, to me, I, I haven't even lived that life, and I have a good living, I think, but you guys have just lived the yeah. pinnacle, you know, yes. the movie, kind of movie star lifestyle. And even like you said, you're like, I'm drinking beer. <laughs> but you could have and lived. And not even a good beer. It was like Miller Lite. I'm like, what? Oh, We're definitely not, not a okay. beer promoter on me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you could have lived the extreme. I mean, yeah. like, if you realized what you yes. were in at the time. Yes. You were doing a great job, but you didn't realize where you yeah. were at at the time. Yeah. And that's like us looking back, the appreciation yes. for right. what you were living. That's yes. when you're like, holy crap. But as a teacher, on a teacher's salary, but then your husband on it. Now, where were you at when he decided to say, I want to do an internet business? What, how, talk about how he came to you with that. Was that in Pennsylvania at the time? Yeah, well, yeah, because it was, um, he had just, okay, yeah. So we were in Pennsylvania, um, we just had our second child. Okay. Um, and um, he, we, you know, like I said, we had always talked about, you know, we're probably going to move back to California at some point. And just this break in the his company, um, they were doing some shuffling and whatever. It was mm -hmm. just sort of like, it was that moment where we had to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Like, either let's go now, or if he stays in, we're probably not gonna go back for a while or ever you know it was it was just felt like that moment and there is that crossroads we, yeah right? it was like I mean, a crossroads. Let's, talk, let's take a second i don't want to yeah. stop her story but there are many yes. crossroads yes. and you like you said yeah. driving in the car get married go to new york not get married yep. Not, yep. here okay the company's going this way we got to think about going this yes. way that's a great learning lesson because yes. so there's so many we just kind of had yeah. to say all right we're the big thing okay so for me, I want your perspective. yeah. So, so Alex knew that. So I have a big family mm -hmm. that I. Grew I know up with. you do. Somehow, yes. every time there's probably like forty seven hundred people. I know, here. and and you have and grown like to know seven, many of them. You're like ten friends, ten friends, and four hundred. Four hundred families, yes. And so, you know, and both at the time, you know, both sets of parents were alive. We've had now two kids away from family. And seeing the struggles of raising kids mm. without them. I grew up with both sets of grandparents. Well, one set kind of um, passed when I was pretty young. But still, you like, still, I got my other a lot of grand, support. A lot yeah. of support. Like, I grew up with all my cousins, my aunts and uncles. And so you were, Alex you're like, we gotta go didn't home. really because he was in the mili military. Your dad was in the military, so they moved around a lot. So he's like, I want that for my kids. I you want my kids. That. Moving here, yes. wanting to be established. Exactly. And which is interesting. I didn't know that's why you guys decided to settle. Yep. yep. So we, um, so we kind of made the decision. Um, at the time, I, I didn't know what it, really internet. <laughs> I mean, we had dial up. You know the. Oh yeah. Brr, yeah. He you said know, I'm like, skip, I don't even know. Like the old dial -up. Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what it was. You know, and I was just going with the flow. You know, I just had a baby. You know, so we, I was more focused on like, hey, we're going back to California. Right we'll figure it out, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. So we moved back and, um, now he said, if I'm not, I may have skipped something. So that's why I'm taking you for a second. So he said that he moved back. Now did he, where do you guys live other than your, his parents' house? Was it immediate? Cause he said he tried it over there and then you ended up coming here. Did you guys live somewhere here yeah. first? No. So when we first moved back, we, um, I think we moved right in with this parent in Carl. Oh, okay. So it was and already then, at that point where he was like, I need, I'm, I'm, yeah, not we, out great. well, actually, we, we only moved in for a little bit and we rented a house Correct. Yeah. right down the street from his parents. We mm -hmm. rented a house, 
Then we bought a house in Carlsbad, mm -hmm. and we lived there, I don't know, a few years, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We had Zach, our third child there. And then um, at some point, we were just so crammed into this house, and there were homeowner fees, and yeah, people were like, you can't park in the right. driveway. And, you know, it's like... Well, what? You know, we had three kids, and we can't park anything in the garage because it was full as crap. And, you know, our, we're paying to store a motorhome and all this stuff. So we sold the Carlsbad house. And then in transition, we moved in with my in-laws in their living room, literally. Mm -hmm. And while we were trying to figure things out, and then we ended up buying out here in Valley Center to just have space. So that whole time that we were in Carlsbad in that house, um, that's when Alex started Bocasmo. Okay. And I had, you know, we had little little kids, so I wasn't teaching full time at that time. You weren't. Not at that time. Um, so where's so the income coming from then? His well, because he or? had a lot from Wall Street. Yes, yes. He so we brought was... all that with us Got it. and started the business. So we were able to good. live on yeah. that for a, a while. Years. Yeah. You know, until we couldn't. <laughs> When he said, and then, when he said his account came with about hundred thousand yeah, dollars, yeah. he said, "You either need to." Like, and that was the time period when he made me the bookkeeper. And <laughs> I, again, I forgot that I'm last an thing. elementary <laughs> ed major. He said, "That's not working out." Minor in marketing, <laughs> um, and I am now the bookkeeper. And I'm like, I have, I, I, what? And he's I, I the guy no with the finance background. Yeah. I'm like, he made you the bookkeeper. I can't, I can't, I can't work with you. Yeah, I can't do books. <laughs> And if you, if we need the, like, if you need to, I would rather, I would rather teach and then you hire a right. bookkeeper with that, that money <laughs> than me be the bookkeeper because Correct. I was ready to like, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm done. This was not was good for us. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not good for us to work together. Right. No, yeah. He can't be my boss. Well, that's good. Because I'm good. his boss. So he can't, it doesn't work that way. be his boss? Yeah, it, yeah, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I had to. Just we just had to not do that. So you guys, when you already mentioned, you bought here, which mm -hmm. is the the mm -hmm. wine cellar now, which took a long time. But before that, before it was an immaculate, you know, beautiful place. You guys bought here, and we met you guys in T-Ball our first year yep. with several other Wine Wednesday friends. Yep. Let's be yep. honest. Um, so ultimately, though, let's talk a little bit about. So from there, when you moved here, I guess I want to get your perspective on. I understand. You know, we'll, we'll kind of, there's really not much to go there. I know you guys have lots of kids. Now you're four kids in. I don't know if Will has been born yet. Yeah, Will was born in this house right, okay. after we moved here. So we're going to yeah. do another shot. <laughs> we have a little bit of a timer thing going as far as shots. So we're Mila! Trying, <laughs> we're trying to get... We're trying Mila to get, is over here timing the shots. So I, I'm... <laughs> dang. Okay, here we go. So this one is Buffalo Trace. which I brought up with her husband. It's actually one of the best whiskeys you could probably have. Wow. Let's see what you think about it because it's one of my favorites. Okay. I like to smell it and swirl. Oh. I, I'm a wine person. I got to smell it. I want to just have legs. And I'm like, oh, no, wait, that's wine. That's not whiskey. But... Mm. No, whiskey tasting is a thing. Yeah. But how do you it's... taste it if you're going? Because do it you... goes down your throat and you can taste it. All I'm saying is huh. it's not a thing on this show. Because we don't have all night to sip whiskey. <laughs> we got a lot. You pop I got all night, Ken. I got you all night. pop a bottle, and you know what that's going to taste like. We have six to oh go my through. Oh, God. <laughs> she likes the Henderson better. So. Uh, it's like when you first taste wine, when you first start wine, typically people like the cheaper wines because they're, su they're sweeter or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. I can see that. Okay. You have to build up to those. So I want to get into more a little bit of a life lesson now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we've obviously gone through a lot of amazing stories. You obviously have taught us a lot, not just about you, but about your struggles and highs and lows. Um, and, and I do want to talk a, just a one second. Yeah. So were there any arguments, and I don't want to get into personal life, but was it a tough time when you went from way high to way low? I'm just curious. It How was, does someone get through that? Yeah, I, I mean, it was tough it. in terms of starting starting a business in general. Like, it, it wasn't like a money thing. I mean, I think there's always money that's a of stress. Course. Not of for like, you guys at the time. At, yeah, I mean, when we started, but it it was going fast, mm -hmm. you know. And I think 
Yeah, there was a lot of stress. Okay. There was a lot. That was a really stressful. Was for it me, helpful to have the East, the, I mean, that you guys moved back here to at least have some support with family? Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. But I think, I, yeah. And you were having kids during this Yeah. Time. I was going to say, I just think, you know, starting a business, moving, um, all of those things, it's, it's stressful. Yeah. And when you don't know where your next paycheck is coming or you don't have healthcare, you know, you've got to pay yeah, for that you guys separate, are probably self-employed, you, right? yeah. you know, it's stressful. Wow. And, um, and I saw his vision and he was on the cusp, but well, ultimately that, that, did, that didn't yeah. Yeah. make it. And, and we look back and we're like, God, it was so right there, you know, right, like right. Amazon. It was right. like, that's kind of what we were doing. Sure. It was Pretty right, me, right there. Yeah. I mean, it was like right there, but we, it just, just didn't, didn't, you yeah, know, yeah. and at some point we had to just call it, you know, it's like, but kind of that, you know what I mean? Because awesome you on, have to kind of move, you know, yeah, and I'm not talking, I think it's awesome because honestly, you kind of realize that like, like, Hey, you know, like we missed something. Yeah. We were there. We missed it. We, we got to move the frick on, though. Yeah. Because you have to move on, right, in yeah. life. So let's talk a little bit about, I know your story. Not everyone does. So we know you're a teacher. We know you have many family members that are teachers. Yeah. Many family members. I think members is what he meant. Family members. Yes. Um, so I know that you had lost a brother mm -hmm. who was a teacher. And I don't want to make this an emotional moment, but I know a lot of people that are watching may have lost a loved one. Um, he was your only brother, correct? Yeah. You have other no, siblings? No siblings. So other, just, just my and, brother. Yeah. And his name is KJ. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to talk about how he passed away so much, but talk about like how that in your prime, how do you move, like you lose someone and then you kind of, it's unexpectedly, was yeah. he in his 30s? Uh, 40, 46. So 46 years old. Yeah. Um, here you are. Yeah. You know, you're about the same age at the time, maybe? Um, a little bit older? You he, were the older he, sister, right? No, he was older than me. Okay. He was uh, three and a half years older than me. Okay, so, so here we are, what, 10 years ago? It's, it'll be 10 years, because yeah. he, he died in 2010, mm. and you guys remember that. I oh, mean, I remember it was, 100%. I'm, I'm I mean, literally listening to the stories about yeah. like where he passed away and how, and I'm just saying, like, so I even remember going to the house yes. for the, the gathering, yes. and so... Where do you guys, where do you see yourself at that point? Where do you like take, how do you make the next step after right. you lose a sibling, your yeah. only sibling? Yeah. Well, and the thing is too, like, we have a super close family, as you guys know, like very, very close knit family. Mm -hmm. And, um, one of the best I've ever seen, by the way, I mean, <laughs> honestly, like honestly, over the top, amazing. Yeah. Thank like you. we have great families, me and my wife, yeah. but I'm telling you what, like hanging out with the Strylers is like my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Not yeah. just Tammy and Alex and their kids because we love their kids to death, but the freaking mom. Yeah. I mean the the Gigi who was you I know, know, and, I know. And, and all Aunt Cherie and and yes. all of those guys are just so amazing. Yeah. I mean they're just I don't even know where you guys come from. You're like freaking a whole planet. <laughs> I mean, no, it it's is just weird. like, well, Kevin, like, I mean, just all I the know, guys, everybody. Just, everybody is so sweet, even with yes. their cousins or friends or... Well, we kind of like all, so my dad's family was, is like the Bentley family, and right. he had, my dad was the oldest, and then had, you know, four siblings, there were five of them, and then my mom is the Brownlee side, and she's the oldest, and then had yeah. two siblings, yeah. has two siblings, and then we all meshed into one like it's really it weird. Like, like we all yeah, did, yeah. No, like no everybody line. nobody knows hey, what we like are we like cousins yeah, yeah. are we just not are we like but for my brother i mean he it was just my brother and i of course and um super close and um i don't know what to say other than there's not a literally a day that goes by that i don't think about my brother wow i mean literally I oh yeah i mean Every he was a day. teacher, by the way, right? Yes. Okay. Every every day. He was a PE day. teacher. No, um, English. But he also did. He taught. Wrestling, no, he correct? coached wrestling right, and right, water right. polo. Yeah. Which is where, you know, yes. Will and Cole, my two yeah. sons, you yeah. know, wrestled, and um, our other son was With a water polo, water polo, and that's yeah, so yeah, cool. That's yeah. awesome. That, that's kind of cool. KJ, right? I know, I know, I know. Uncle and KJ. He um he was amazing, and I don't I don't know. It was the hardest. Thing I think I've ever gone through hard. in my entire life yeah. that I don't wish upon anybody, but you have to, um, we made a commitment to 
my mom and my dad and I and you know we we made a commitment to that you know we would say like KJ would be so mad at us if if we didn't live our life and like move on. he would not move on he, but like but, but honor continue him. to live correct right you know and he would be mad like he would not want us to to not move on you can't on. be a wrestling coach and not be competitive right, right? so yeah. in his mind he's like don't yeah. you dare yeah don't you dare don't he'd you be dare. mad he would right. be mad he'd right. be mad that i got a tattoo say, of him on yeah, my leg if you can't see it but he'd be mad about that but right, i don't care right, right. we left um but he um he it's i don't even know it's it it boggles my mind sometimes about thinking about it but we just um in terms of moving forward it, i think a lot is mindset and you have to choose to be happy, and I do believe that is a choice, and you can choose not to be happy. Right. That, you, and, and I'm not... Waking up in the morning. Yes. And yeah. I'm not saying, like, I understand... You're not judging. Yeah. Depression yeah. and things that are real. I'm not, I'm not talking about that, but I think for I you, choose to you. wake up for every you, you day chose. and be happy mm -hmm. and appreciate what I have. It definitely gave me a perspective of, of, you know, loving every minute and appreciating everything way more than before my brother passed. You know, just every minute you have to soak in. And, and those moments where you're like, oh, I can do it later, don't do it later. Mm -hmm. Do it now and take those, you know, seize those moments with friends, with family, with whatever sees them in those moments because there may not be that, oh, I'll do it next year or I'll do it, you know, we'll all get together. Right. You gotta just seize those moments. Well, what's and interesting is you bring that up is because Honestly, that's extremely true. Like, like I'm saying, you didn't realize, like, back in the New York days when you were talking about that, like, you didn't realize the, how important that was, but you were seizing your moment then. Yes. But realizing that when you realize you lost your brother, it's like, we all need to, like, not take advantage of that time. Yeah. So. But what's interesting about this with my brother, so I'm just going to put, this was one of those, like, God moments or one of those, like, weird, eerie moments of... So I, so we were, we moved to Valley Center and, um, I was trying to get a job out in Valley Center and I couldn't, there just weren't jobs. So I was subbing and this oh, that's because for a while you were kind yeah, of like trying home, to, right? Yeah. And, and I was really trying work, yeah. to, so, and I had, was working a teaching up in Irvine, which is like an hour and a half away from here. <laughs> that community and was brutal for like brutal. three years. And, um, I, so I, um, needed to work full time. So I, I was on a leave of absence, so I was like, all right, I'm going to commute to Irvine. And um, that year, I commuted. And then the next, the second year, that's when my brother passed. And mm -hmm. that year that I commuted, we stayed at their house one night a week. And I had oh Zach and Will with me and Cole. They all went to school up there with me. And, um, and then the next year, he passed. And that year, I got like... So Once much. or twice a oh. week with my brother, and then he took my kids to the you know ducks games and all this stuff. And I look, I don't know, and then it went kind of full circle. And then I commuted another year, and then I got the job here. And I was like, it was so meant for me to be commuting up there to have that time, that extra time. Before I didn't know, you, at you didn't know at the time. Didn't know at the time. Didn't know at the time. Back, yes, but unreal. looking back, it was like, oh my gosh, it's like that God, I was supposed to be there. I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, God, yeah, knew, yeah. That something was going to happen. Therefore, yeah. you spent that, he, whole, that year whole year with a brother that yeah. lives an hour and a half away. That yeah. you would have maybe seen him twice yeah. or three times. Yeah, I mean, like we would see each Holidays. other, but not every week oh, like yeah. that. Once you know? or twice Once a week. Once or twice a week, oh. and taking my kids and do, yeah. like it was. It was yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah I really believe that. And then full circle, got a job in Valley Center. Here I'm working, you know, five minutes from my house. Yeah. But in those that moment, that moment I was, was commuting, was and I am so thankful. I hate it, but, but I, I'm so thankful for that. You were just time. sucking it up like a sponge yep. at that point. Yep. That's unreal. Yep. Yeah. So and I mean, honestly, I had known KJ a few times, and he was an amazing guy. I mean, so he was an amazing funny. husband. Oh he was an amazing guy. So good. He was a he was mm -hmm. a cool dude. Mm -hmm. um, so, not to go right into another sad moment, because um, your mom is freaking amazing. Um, well, well, before we do that, let's do that. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So the last one, Wait, actually, this. it's called Rebel Yell. Okay. And it's one of my favorites. Billy Idol? It's what? a rebel yell. Yeah. Not Billy Idol? Yeah, that is it the is, song. It is. I'm so glad you know Billy Idol. Right? Well, 80s, come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. She goes to whiskey like Billy Idol. Billy Rock Idol. Rock on. Last shot. Oh, my God. 
That's good. It's one of my faves. She was, uh. I'm going to stick to Wine Wednesday, but I'm... <laughs> You're I'm all about hung, one night, one all night. All of these. Yeah, you are. You're a tough soldier. Woo. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. We want to wrap this up, but not like leave or close. But your father, mm -hmm. honestly, I've only probably had 20 moments with him. Like that, which is a lot for most people. You're like 20 yeah. moments. That's a lot. But yeah. Kent was just like the coolest guy. Yeah. And if you don't remember, at the end, like, we were hitting it off, like, with the cooking, and he sent me the email at the book. Oh, I, I love it. Knew that. No, what book? He sent me a, a grilling book email oh, about how it. to, like, grill and stuff, and, you know, this is all spawned from our, our Vegas vacation, like, in 2003. Yeah, yeah. Like, unreal. Or, and Jamaica, like, and Jamaica. We did Jamaica together. But I swear to God. Oh, no, he wasn't. No, he oh, wasn't. God, he wasn't there. Oh, God. Oh, it's okay. Okay. But yes. your mom yes, was, and that's why you, you're picturing him Yes, there. I know, because he should have been there. He was a man. He should have been there. But he was a stud, yeah. right? And I, again, so now we've got Tammy losing her brother in, two, in when was that? 2010. 2010. And now your father. 2015. Okay, so five years five later. Five years later. And again, yeah. this isn't a sad moment because she's such a trooper, but I want people to understand that I have never really lost, I've lost a grandfather, I've lost a father. Um, who I wasn't close with only because of the East Coast. It wasn't about our relationship, but you were like super tight with your people. Yeah. So for to, you to lose a brother and then five years later to lose your father, um, how did that happen? And Joan, your mom is, Ugh. and I don't well, mean to drop a name, but the, I mean, I apologize. But yeah, she I mean, we lost a lot actually in those that time frame because so my mom and dad kind of lived in a retirement community, my grandma lived with them. And oh, that's my right. yeah, Gigi, Gigi lived, lived with there. them, yeah, yeah. and my aunt and uncle lived right around the corner. And um, in 2015, my dad he w had a heart attack. And, okay, that's and, how, and that's how okay. he ended up in the hospital. Um, 73. Okay, okay. Not old enough. I wasn't um, old enough. Yeah, I didn't no. Realize. I saw the, uh, yeah, 73. Gosh. And then he he passed away, and so my and then that net. So 2000, so 2016, um, my grandma died. Who now she was 96. So that one was Dude, we thought I, she was going. I you know, was the, the Gigi, poor, bro. Yeah, but she Gigi out with my dad. Who we, you know, whatever. 23 and then, years. 23 years. I know. Does that not seem like an eternity for you yeah. to like? That's amazing. She was. Uh, uh, she was. Oh. oh my gosh. I, I she can't, was the best. Can't talk about she would out drink all of us. Like wine. And me, just give me. Don't she give me was the bomb. She was the bomb. <laughs> she was so good. But prior to her dying, like two months earlier, my aunt Lee died unexpectedly. Oh, I Lee. Oh and God. that, and that's kind of that's what threw my grandma. So right. in that less than a year, my mom had lost three super close people. Right. Husband. All of it, husband, mom, and sister-in-law, sister -in which yeah. she, you know. Right, it was like her sister. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And um, it's been really hard. Yeah. It's been really hard. I, mean, I know that my mom has gone through a ton. Um, we've all gone through a ton. Um, my mom is uh, has amazing spirit. Oh, and, she's a, you know, Joni is a and, bomb. Yeah, she's and so sweet. she, you know, I get, I go back to mindset, you know, like she could just, curl up and and die but she wants to she wants to see her grandkids see where they're gonna go and right. her great grandkids right, right. and she loves being part of the moment and being a part of everything and I think that's that's why family is so important because you know you want to you want to be there for them and right. keep going right. you know as much as you can and that even my my grandma who made it to 96 I mean she lost so many people along the way but she was always she right was in there. The she life wanted. Of the party. She wanted to she be her great great grandchildren. Yes. Her great grandchildren. Her grandchildren. She wanted ninety six. That's ninety six. Like, that's I know. It's insane. That's amazing. So I think you know. Again, with my dad, it's like I think about him every day, and there's all these moments where you're just like, I wish he was here, and but he's not, and so we have to live for him. Like for him. again, he would be mad if we weren't. Like if he would be mad if we would be like, oh, I'm. I'm we can't do this because of my dad right, or right. we're too sad because of my dad. Right. You know, he would be like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, yeah. get out there yeah. and do it. And I always just have his, his, 
I don't know, his words in my of head. Yeah. And even my brother, you know, the same kind of thing. Like, he would be mad. He would be mad if we didn't, you know? And I, right. that's how I view it. Like, they would want us to continue living to our fullest for them. every day. Right. For them. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't... We don't forget about them, but like they they would want us to yeah, in memory of to them. be yeah right. to be the best that we can be, and I think that's how I get through every day. Yeah, you know. So in in in, in wrapping this up, it's uh, I'm like I'm getting emotional. I, <laughs> and I'm I like, know. Like I can't imagine how you're. I know. Right. I'm like, well, the whiskey, the whiskey is kicking <laughs> in with me, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you guys know us for slurring. I mean, I don't know if it's coming across that way, but I feel like I'm talking different. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I swear to God, like, these people, she is 100% true. These people are amazing. They are, they're not my family, but I I just feel like I know what they mean when they say that. 100%. Um, so, what I'd like to do, though, is... Is there a uh, link or some kind of like podcast channel or anything? That, well, if you're interested, it's called Pour Your Ed Out. But how do they search it? I'm on Apple. Just You can just type in the name or, you know, search the name Pour Your Ed Out. Okay. And um, rate. Yeah, or my name. I think name. either yeah. one, yeah. my name. And um, just been really fun getting yeah, to no, know I my colleagues yeah, yeah, yeah. and learning yeah. from them. And even parents. I mean, the, the interview I had today actually... Right before this, I was um, doing a podcast, and she had great tips for parents. So I think it's it's good for teachers and parents. Yeah, and yeah. yeah it's, that's it's awesome. awesome. Check it out. Yeah. So I, I may be on there, even though I'm not an educator. <laughs> I'm, I want to <laughs> absolutely get some. I certainly have no story <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, I'm joking. But, um, yes, so like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I, I Honestly, this is my third episode and Tammy I, it's been my favorite thank you I mean honestly you have been amazing and I'm so proud that my wife is behind the scenes I love you guys giving us the timer and <laughs> she's been like shh, shh. I'm like oh my god it's already been time but I mean, yes it's like we, big we air pulled hug, it you know I yes, feel like yes. these are, are um you know how we talked about like moments and people and, and and I feel like these guys her husband is amazing Tammy's even more amazing um no offense Alex but Tammy's definitely the queen. Um, so, and I'm, I'm thankful. Wait, I just got to say, because I know that people come into our, you know, your life for various reasons. And yeah. you guys are for sure part of the reason why we ended up here. Yeah. I love you guys. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, Don't need to be started. <laughs> <laughs> I did really good. And don't yeah, just now. Yeah, you did great. All right, peace out. Wine ways. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so bad. Sorry. Because it's, it's, it's because because we're because I've been living this for what, six oh years? Oh my God, wine I Wednesday. love it. Whiskey w- wait, Wednesday. W- wine Wednesday. <laughs> That's their gang sign. <laughs> three, three. So oh, sorry. Oh, I love it. Last. You will always be a true wine I know, Wednesday. You I don't know. care. You can do as much whiskey as you want, but you know you're a wine Wednesday. That's so sad. <laughs> I love you guys. Peace out.